Well, yeah, it's possible, right? Oh man, they're selling our information. You know what? Let me tell you something. There's no. I know it. There's no way that peep that they could be hacked and your information go with away if they would just encrypt your information. If, the, if there's no reason they don't encrypt it because the computer's so fast they can decrypt it any time they need it and have the decryption keys you know some somewhere else so you have two computers and so when someone hacks in they've got to figure out where the other server is that has the keys in order to decrypt the information it's so simple it just ticks me off that anytime I mean they just expect the public to be stupid you don't know who to go to you know it's like you, I guess you go to the better you know what do you do better business bureau is what I would do Google Google owns so much man they are in our business all over the place and everybody everybody uses them to to uh, for the information that they have available on you right but what they're doing, every uh, the, the, all of that information they gather is 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 a tool that that's in their website, and that tool is gathering information back to to Google. So no matter what you do, man, I don't care if you got to put in your numbers for your for your bank or your you know I mean everything they have everything on you. It's scary. It's really. It's like we got to get our Congress to just shut them down. I'm serious. They, uh, you know, there is no reason that you have to call them and tell them I don't want my information uh, shared. It should be the other way around. They should have to call you and say, "Can we share your information?" No. Default is no. Not default is yes, and you have to contact them to say no. You know. It's backwards. It's it, this is all wrong. You know, anyway, when they anyway, I'll get out of here. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, hey guys, it was fun. I, uh, I appreciate you. Stop buying the parties more often. No, I, I'll I'll ignore you when I'm really deep in something. So don't <laughs> don't take any offense to that. That's just uh, I, I'm old. I'm old and I'm old and determined. So you know, I got a determined mind. I'm not gonna be disturbed by anybody. Bro, are you fucking serious? Fuck! I'm di I'm divorced. I got nothing going for me. I just can do my own thing. Okay. <laughs> it's nice hearing about you. No, no, no offense. And my mom taught me that, by the way. Before I get out here, I'll tell you. You, you know, I'd go over and visit mom, right? You know, after we were growing, I was growing up, and so I'd go visit mom. She'd be in there cooking or something, and we'd we'd sit down and talk for about 15 minutes. She'd stand up and say, "It's time for you to go." <laughs> she said, she says, I got things to do. <laughs> Damn, bro. Uh, so she did this almost every time. Kick you out, you know, because 15 minutes is about all she could handle as far as wasting time. She was one of those busy bees, you know. Yeah. <laughs> that, ge that generation that done just continuously working, continuous every day, you know. They'd find something to do, you know. Let's yep. let's rearrange the house, you know. Oh, you just did that yesterday. Yeah, I know, but let's, I didn't like it. Let's move the couch over here. <laughs> so she had uh, yep. these like, she put everything on these little cups that was slick on the carpet, so she could just easy push them around. <laughs> she was intelligent. Mom was, you know, intelligent. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Catch y'all later. <laughs>